Hey there, Mustangs. Day two of the math rise test. I was up and down the hallways going in and out of classrooms. Just so impressed with your use of the scratch paper. I saw such great organization of your work, seeing you work out those computations, seeing people do them a second time over. I just loved it. Also, that TI-73 graphing calculator or the TI um, Inspire that you all have and been practicing all year, it was so cool to get to watch you use those in action. I love those calculators. They do so well organizing fractions and mixed numbers especially. Um, so keep using those tools. I can tell you are on pace to knock it out of the ballpark and hit the target right where, we, where you would hope to to set a new TMI personal best. So remember, there's three days for this. This is day two. There's approximately 60 questions. So we said yesterday, try to aim for question 20 to 25. Today, I'd say you'd probably be looking to hit question 40 to 45. Don't go beyond that. If you get to that point, go back, double check your work and save the rest for the final day, which will be tomorrow. I'm getting very excited. With that, remain seated, please. Permanecero sentados, por favor. Keep your legs, arms, and head within the desk at all times. Do your best to show how smart you are and enjoy the ride. You should have found a stick of peppermint gum at your testing station. Please enjoy this refreshing treat as long as you are actively doing the tests or reviewing your questions and answers. Please make sure you keep your wrapper. When you are finished and have double checked everything, you are ready to submit. Your M Games personal training chart tracks your work on four important things. Being on time, thoroughly using your scratch paper, completing and double checking your answers, and bringing a book and reading quietly when finished. At the conclusion of today's session, your card will be stamped for as many of those categories as your proctor feels you completed today. For every stamp you earn, your name will be entered into the prize drawing at the end of the four weeks. All cell phones must be kept in the cell phone pouch in the room and not in your pocket or backpack. If it is still with you, please make sure to put it in the pouch at this time. Please remain seated during the test. If you need assistance, raise your hand and the proctor will come to you. Keep in mind, the proctor cannot help you solve, read, or explain any of the questions on your test. As always, use your scratch paper to figure out the answers or take notes on the test. Writing down your thinking will always help you do your best. Remember to use the dictionary, earbuds, calculator, and other tools given to you as well. Make sure you do not submit your tests without your proctor standing next to you. When you're finished with your test and decide you are ready to submit, please raise your hand and the proctor will help you. Your proctor will also remind you what your previous score was so you can beat your score for your own personal best. Once you have finished, you will need to sit quietly and read a book. No other activities can be done at this time. You absolutely cannot disrupt other test takers in the room. For this reason, we recommend you take your time and don't rush through the test. There is nowhere else to go once you're done. Thank you.